With three decades of experience of printing and embroidery, Acorn Printing have a client base including many household names and have even supplied t-shirts for the President of the United States. As the official team wear supply for Bosra, you can order from our current range at tshirtuk.com. Good morning everybody, welcome to Bosra Race Roundup. We're back for this year with a brand new event, the 2016 Bosra MSA Skip Barber Championship. As you'll see from qualifying, we have a few new names with us. First off, it's Alan Pierce, he on pole for XL Designs. He set a 105.344 here at Silverstone. In second, it's Sobran for Team Clockwork. They're sporting all new liveries this year. He's ahead of Antonides, another new driver with us. It is Alan Pierce's teammate for XL Designs. In fourth, Neil Bamba. He returns for Seagate and Synology. Here they are a new partner team. They've joined us for 2016. It's fantastic to have those on board with us. He's head of Matt Talea and Barry Bird. In seventh, a familiar name who hasn't been with us for the past few events is Ben Hackerson. He's another driver with XL Designs this year and he's head of Martin Gwanicki and the returning motorsport auctions team. The second of the Baird brothers is in night. that's Tony Bird for Tech Speed Racing, he's ahead of Andrew Whitehead for XL Designs, so XL Designs have all four cars within the top 10, in 11th it's Simon Underhill for Acorn Printing, ahead of Ricky Green and Alan McCain, they're both with Bowden Solutions for this championship, in 14th it's Martin Brandon, ahead of Chris Buttrell in 15th, and Van Delden, 2015's Driver of the Year in 16th. The start of this championship also sees the biggest grid we've ever had, so in 17th it's Phil Gregory for Seagate and Synology, he's ahead of David Rowland and Simon Jackson Returns, they're driving for Bentley Boys Racing. In 20th, it's David Waldock ahead of Jan Malazava and Ryan Walker. Ian Robson's in 23rd ahead of Darren Ford, his teammate for Bentley Boys. In 25th, it's Ian Thorne ahead of Marion Bradshaw. In 27th, Jonathan Beresford and Francis Winnell in 28th, he didn't start the race. So that is the lineup for the first round of the 2016 Bosra MSA Skip Barber Championship. We do have four drivers not with us this time out, and Francis Winnell, of course, not starting the race. So we're going to go on board in a second with the fastest qualifying lap, which was Alan Percy. We'll be right back after this. If you're looking to upgrade your racing experience, then head over to Bowden Solutions. They offer the first and only bolt-on load cell brake mod for Thrustmaster pedals, and the TXG27 adapter allows you to use your Logitech pedals with the Thrustmaster wheel. See the link below for more information. Now on board with Alan Piercy, he's about to start his qualifying lap. You'll notice some changes to Bosra Race Roundup this year. We're using Joel Real Timing Overlays. Joel has kindly changed some of the coding on his software and he's also provided six pro codes. So our event winners this year will also pick up one of them as part of their prize package. Alan now coming down to turn one. This is Cops, so lightly on the brakes through here. Trying to run out not too wide so you don't pick up a incident point. It does get very slippery around there if you do run wide. I'll try to get in the toe of the car in front and pick up a little bit extra time. So as you can see from the overlays, it was lap number 15, I think this was, in Alan's qualifying session. His previous lap, a 107.060, and his best lap currently sitting in in 7th. So as you can see from the track map, we're now making our way down the back straight. This then leads us up towards Brooklands and Luffield before we come back round onto the main straight. Quite a short course here, just over a minute per lap. And with the new fuel regulations, we're limiting to 30%. So nicely through there from Alan. Now getting right up on the back of his teammate just ahead of him. Coming through this very, very long right-hander. Seems to go on forever before getting the power down at the final corner. And then a very, very slight corner. This is Woodcote coming onto the main straight. Almost clipping the bollards as you come through there and across the line. XL Designs then, looking like the team to be in this championship. You can see confirmation at a 105.344 for pole. The Synology DS216 Play is a two-bay NAS featuring 4K video transcoding and powerful processing capabilities. Complement yours with Seagate NAS hard drives for the perfect high-capacity storage solution. See the video description for more details. So the grid is all set to get 2016 underway, we're waiting for the lights to go green. Alan Pierce is on pole from Sobrand and Anton Aides. Further back, Chris Buttrell's had a great start, he's passed a couple of the Bowden Solutions cars already. Lloyd Percy holds his lead into the first corner ahead of Sobrand and Anton Aides. Neil Bamber's maintained fourth position, Ben Hackerson's making a move between the Tech Speed Racing pair. So out front it's XL Designs from Team Clockwork from XL Designs. Now all the cars make their way down towards Maggots for the first time, it'll be interesting to see how everyone gets on the brakes here, hopefully there's not too much can happen between the cars. Keep an eye on Ben Hackerson though, because he slides it, slight contact with Matt Talea, so Talea runs wide and goes off track, Ben Hackerson is up into fifth place. We know how fast Ben can be, it's great to see him back racing with us. Now following David Rowland for Bentley Boys Racing, this is still on lap number one, cars all over the place on this first lap, everyone trying to find out where they should be on track and fight off and keep position. 
for coming through to complete the first lap. Jonathan Beres for coming through for Seagate and Synology and one of David's teammates. But there, just at the back, that is Ryan Walker for Acorn Printing. Slight contact between them. David Rowland off and onto the grass. David then needing repairs, so pulling across the grass and into the pits, picking up an unsafe pit entrance. So not a good start for our team champions from the BMW Z4 and MX5 event. David waving his way into the pit. On board with race leader Alan Pearcy on lap number two. This is looking back at the number 80's teammate for Excel Designs, Antonades. Antonades getting the run down the back straight, making the move in towards Brookwins. The left-hander, Sobrand, looking as well. He's not quite close enough to make a move, though. Neil Bamber just behind Sobrand, trying to stay with the top three as well. A great fight going on mid-pack between 8th and 12th. This is involving Underhill, Whitehead, Baird, Gwenicki and Van Delden. You see Tony Baird there is shunted off track. There's slight contact between him and Andrew Whitehead. David Rowan just in the background coming out of the pits after his incident as well. Plenty of action in these opening laps here at Silverstone for the start of the Skip Barber Championship. This is on board with Martin Brandon now. That is Jonathan Beresford just ahead. Contact between them. Martin a bit late on the brakes there. So Brandon loses out now to Ian Thorne as well. So down to 19th and needing a trip to the pit. Just watching this mid-pack battle now between Gregory, Gwenicke, Whitehead and Underhill. Further behind us just Van Delden and Chris Buttrell. While we watch this, we're just going to remind you of what's coming up this week. Bosworo will be down at the Auto Sport Show at the NEC on the 14th. That's next Thursday. We're going on to see Motorsport Auctions. They've got an exhibition stand there. Duncan Holler from Acorn Printing is also coming along. So there'll be myself, Simon Underhill, Phil Gregory, Duncan and Gary Bradshaw from Motorsport Auctions. Uh, we're going to have a chat about the league and stuff and catch up and thank our partners for supporting us. While we're there as well, we're also giving away some goodie bags courtesy of Seagate and Synology. Synology have provided the goodie bags and Seagate have thrown in some t-shirts as well. We've got four of these to give away. The first one, as I say, is coming down to Autosport with us. If you want to win that, then keep up to date with Twitter. We'll be giving out instructions on there on how you can win that one. The second bag is going to be reserved exclusively for our Bosra subscribers. There are going to be a few extra goodies in that one as well. The last two will be going out on Twitter in further competitions in February. So as you saw there, Simon Underhill going off track. This is the replay on board with Andrew Whitehead. You can see Simon just catching a little bit too much off the rumble strip. That is Simon off and into the wall. Ben Hackerson, we're now riding with him with Ryan Walker just ahead. It is Simon Underhill's teammate for Acorn Printing. A slight tap in the back from Ben. That sent both cars sideways. But Ben came off worse, he stuck it into the wall big style, actually got stuck there and needed a trip to the pits as well. David Waldock had been working hard, he'd actually moved up 7 places during the race, this is only lap number 5 so he's going really well. Jan Malesva was just in front, he'd been off track and as he slid back across, slight contact between them. That meant that David would then need a trip to the pits for repairs for that. Unfortunate for David, been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yet more action at the first corner. This was the 82 of Galenicki, the 67 of Whitehead, and the 71 of Van Delden, last year's driver of the year. Coming into turn number one, Andrew tries to go around the outside. Very similar to what Simon Underhill did, caught too much of the rumble strip. That sent him back across track and into the side of Van Delden. Van Delden having absolutely nowhere to go. Whitehead needing a trip, so we'll go watch it on board. Keep down the front right wheel of Whitehead. Very slight contact between himself and Gwenicki. That forced him ever so slightly wide. Nothing Andrew can do, trying to correct the steering. The camera going on and off as he rolls here. Settling on the grass. So yet even more non-mandatory pit stops required. We're going to move on board with our four race leaders. So this was Anthony Ades, Piercy, Soberand and Neil Bamber. Coming through the traffic, this was on lap number 16. Pit stops now starting to play apart as everyone started to run out of fuel. So keep an eye on the top three just ahead. Antonides first off peels off into the pit. Piercy goes through. Soberan changes his mind. He gets an unsafe pit entrance there. Neil Bamba deciding to follow those two, trying to keep up with the top three. The new fuel regulations that have been introduced in 2016 will mean a minimum of two stops in this championship. So it'll be interesting to see how the strategies play out there between the drivers and the teams. Moving on, this is Chris Buttrell and Simon Underhill. They'd been scrapping it out all through the midsection of the race. Simon getting the better of Chris this time, getting the run down the back straight. Just in the background, you can see Martin Gwenicke, Chris Buttrell's teammate for most sport auctions. So Simon coming down now. Chris has got the inside line as we come up and into Brooklands and Luffield. So Simon is forced out wide. Chris takes the inside line once again. He was quite quick through here compared to Simon. Martin Gwenicke just flashing around in the background. Then Simon gets it on the inside, coming through Luffield and onto the main straight. 
going to a single car championship has really evened things out between the drivers. Here's an interesting one. There is Phil Gregory on the right hand side. Just behind him is Andrew Whitehead. In the middle now is Jonathan Beresford, Phil's teammate. Now on the left hand side, Andrew Whitehead takes the inside line coming into the corner. Jonathan tries to give them room, but in doing so he tags his teammate Phil Gregory. So Phil loses out to Whitehead, that puts him down to 16th place. Really not the start that the Seagate and Snowgy team wanted, especially if they're taking out each other. So a bad start for them this week. We're going to move on now to our race winner. This is Fahim Antonides. A strong drive from him throughout this race. He battled off competition from Piercy, Bamba and Sobrand. So Antonides takes the win here at Silverstone in the first round of the 2016 Bosra MSA Skip Barber Championship. Congratulations to him and the top three. Not only does Neil Bamba find himself on the podium, but he also picked up the fastest lap of the race, a 1 minute 5.324.020, quicker than the qualifying fastest lap. With the first race under a belt then, let's check on the standings. Motorsport auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts, transporters and associated equipment. With competitive pricing on all types of membership, list your items now at motorsportauctions.com. To confirmation of the race results in the opening round of the 2016 Bosra MSA Skip Barber Championship, well it was Antonides who took the win for XL Designs, he finished ahead of his teammate Alan Piercy in second. Neil Bamba brought home a podium for Seagate and Sonology in their first race with Bosra, he was head of Sobrand in fourth. In fifth it was Talaya ahead of Gawenicke, Simon Underhill in seventh for Acorn Printing, only two Acorn Printing teammates turned up this week. Chris Buttrell's in eighth in the Motorsport Auctions team ahead of David Waldock in ninth, Barry Baird finishes tenth ahead of Phil Gregory. In 12th, Darren Ford for Bentley Boys Racing ahead of Jan Molesva. He was actually the first of the Bowden Solution cars across the line this week. Andrew Whitehead for XL Designs in 14th ahead of McCain and Van Delden. To some of our returning drivers, Ben Hackerson in 17th ahead of Simon Jackson in 18th, Ricky Green finishes within the top 20 and Tony Bird in 20th for Tech Speed Racing. 21st was Gary Bradshaw for Motorsport Auctions ahead of his teammate Ian Thorne. Ryan Walker had a disappointing start to this opening round in 23rd. Ian Robson's in 24th before David Rowland, his Bentley Boys teammate in 25th, Martin Brandon and Jonathan Beresford at the bottom this week. Jonathan not completing 80% so he won't pick up a bonus point for his participation in the opening round. To the driver standings and you'll see that bonus points have also been applied here so if you complete 80% of the race you pick up a bonus point, if you finish the race with no incidents that's two and also you get a bonus point for the fastest lap of the race. So that puts Antonides at the top ahead of Neil Bamber and Alan Piercy, Neil Bamber picking up bonus points for his fastest lap and finishing with no incident points. Great start for him. So in fifth it's Talay ahead of Gwenicky and Underhill. He's followed by Chris Buttrell and David Waldock and then it's 10th Barry Bird. In 11th it's Darren Ford. He was the only other driver to not score any incident points so two extra points for him. Phil Gregory's in 12th ahead of Molesva. Whitehead sits 14th ahead of McCain and Van Delden. Since it is only the opening round, the bottom half of the driver's standings pretty much represents the race results, so it is Ben Hackerson from Simon Jackson, Ricky Green in 19th ahead of Tony Bird, Gary Bradshaw in 21st ahead of Martin Brandon. In 23rd, it's Ian Robson with one point ahead of David Rowe and his teammates, and then it's Ian Thorne and Ryan Walker all on a point with Jonathan Bresford. He disconnected from the race, so no extra points for him. To the team standings, and once all the results have been calculated, it puts XL Designs top on 58 ahead of Seagate and Snowgy with 48. Motorsport Auctions are joint third with the team Clockwork, they're on 30 ahead of Bowden Solutions with 21, Bentley Boys Racing with 16 ahead of Acorn Printing, only two drivers for them don't forget, at the bottom it is Tech Speed Racing. The opening round's now all complete, so next week we head off to Sebring for our second round of the championship. We hope you've enjoyed the new look race roundup and we'll see you again next week. Thank you ever so much for watching, we'll see you again soon, bye bye.